you love with Stephanie. I am Stephanie. We have a special guest today, Peter Knight. Welcome, Peter. You will know him as Head Body Guard <laughs> Chan in the Ty Bale drama series, Ken and Porsche, and as Police Captain Bass in Ron Howard's movie, 13 Lives, and his most recent project, Larry and Closer. Welcome, Peter. Hey. a play and you join the twitter verse so it's how's so, that all been oh it's been great um busy and uh, i like to be busy though uh just after the play it's been a, a bit quiet and now i'm wondering what am i gonna do with myself you know? So I spent a few days like not doing anything and I got bored, like really, really bored. Really? I feel like I would sleep for like a week because you've been so busy. But yeah, you want to be on the move. Yeah, I want to do things, you know, I don't want to just sit around because I start fe feeling guilty. Um, yeah, I start feeling guilty about like not doing anything. <laughs> you know, I'm a big Chan fan. But before we get into that, I thought we would talk about your most recent project, Larry, and Closer. Yeah. Quite a character. I didn't get to see the, uh, the play because I'm not in Thailand. So for the international right. fans, we couldn't see it. But I did see the movie. It was originally a British playwright. And yeah. I did some research. It won a lot of awards. It had a Tony nom. So pretty cool. And it did have a movie with Natalie Portman, Jude Law, and Julia Roberts. Should it be the same? No. I think oh, my no. one's a bit more intense than the movie, to be honest. Um, really? We had three cop. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was a lot more aggressive than Clive Owen. I thought the movie um, was pretty intense. Yeah, I mean, it was, um, I mean, to be honest with you, it's not my type of movie to watch any joy. It's a bit mm -hmm. depressing for it me. It really is. Yeah. Um, it's, not, it's not something that I would, like, personally say, ooh. Right. You know, <laughs> I want to watch that film. No. Right. <laughs> What drew you to the character Larry, the dermatologist? How'd you end up playing Larry and like not Dan? Oh, me, me. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I think the, the director, Kruning, she just mm -hmm. picked me as uh, Larry. Um, he thought you I would think be it was good, more Larry. <laughs> it's more enjoyable to play Larry, to be honest. I saw Dan rock scenes and it's not really um yeah i mean i found myself wanting to hate dan and make you know you villain. always want to make someone a villain and i was sure. like dan you you get that role but i mean really well from the movie i mean everyone was pretty much a hot mess nobody could get it together and <laughs> like villain is part yeah. of it, i guess so it was it was interesting Quite an interesting movie. Yeah, I mean, it was a great experience for me. Um, I did something that I didn't think I would be able to do mm. was uh, do a whole play in Thai. And um, mm. the language that they use in the play is like quite different to the language that I use in everyday life. I go oh, out there and play in front of like hundreds of people and not be able to pronounce words correctly, you know? Yeah. It's not gonna it's not gonna seem legit. <laughs> I mean, this it was a really uh dialogue heavy, um, it seemed like very dialogue heavy and extremely it emotional. It, it was is. really uh really tough because some of the words I didn't even understand what they meant. Um, That's interesting. At first. So what I did with this play was to, there's like 12 scenes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 12 scenes. I'm in about 10. Wow. So basically what I did from the beginning was pick the easiest scenes to, to, to learn. 
um, mm-hmm. which I thought was the easiest. Uh, the easiest scenes, the easiest scenes where there's less dialogue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's let's do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, as an actor, do you, you know, all actors have this method of how they get into character. Is your method mm. the same for each role? No, no, no. it's never the same. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really have a method. Mm-hmm. I mean, I didn't do like acting, training, schooling. Mm. So I'm not really sure how what what type of method to yours get is into probably character. yours is probably more intuitive. Like so, you're just naturally inclined. Yeah, I'm just a natural. You're Stephanie. just a natural. I'm you're just so just, natural. <laughs> you're so good. For, okay, for for closer, and I read it. We went to the first rehearsal, and you know, you just do what you think. You would do for an example mm. uh larry's first scene with anna would be at the aquarium mm. mm-hmm. so at the very first rehearsal the actress would be sitting there and i would you know go into the aquarium i mean it's not an aquarium it's just a it's just like a study room you know mm-hmm. and um uh, and then I would play that role how I think it should be. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, someone who's gone, mm-hmm. who's going mm-hmm. to meet a, uh, a girl who he's met online and he wants to, you know, obviously take her to a hotel, sleep with her and, mm-hmm. um, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, so so I, I would need to imagine that. Tell me about the phone. Technical difficulties. I don't know. Sorry, I do apologize. That's okay. <laughs> we can still hear um, you. I can see you. So I would need to imagine what I would do if I was online talking to some girl mm-hmm. and then, you know, I'm going to go meet her at this place or coffee shop, whatever. Mm-hmm. How would I approach her? And then I would then think, well, I'm not Larry. So... I would need to look at the scenes and 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 think what type of guy this is. Uh, he's a doctor. He's um, confident. He's brash. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, so so how would a brash person act or walk? You know, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, quite, it's quite kind of technical. It is. It is. Um, but again, Chan, Chan was pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean what what's it how do you concentrate in front of this live audience I feel like it's so nerve-wracking and it's so dialogue heavy how do you get into that zone and you just right. keep it the, the whole thing time? with the I thought I thought that like wow oh man I'm gonna have problems here mm-hmm but then I knew the dialogue so well by the time I actually, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. went mm-hmm. in. Right. Um, I I had known. Well, you you get nervous, obviously. It's, a, yeah. it's in a p- performance. It's a hundred people staring at you. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't imagine. Then once you're out there and you're in the zone, which means like you know you're that character. Yeah. I don't yeah. see the crowd anymore you're in the zone you're and yeah, so mechanical you, at that point because you know the script exactly all i need to do yeah. is just bring out the emotion and what i need to do for that particular scene uh, where's the story going you know yeah um because i'm there to amazing. tell a story right uh, right that's amazing and you had a lot of positive feedback for your performance you had a lot of fans come and see you so yeah. one one fan flew in right to see your performance i saw that story yeah, yeah that's did. pretty amazing she had yeah. like airport uh, pictures on. so thank you for flying to see me <laughs> shout out to her shout out to her you got a lot of support and um i saw you had some kin porsche 
co-stars come out to see you. Yeah, Kid and Boy co-stars. Um, yeah, I mean they they uh, Jeff. Jeff came out right, and yeah. Pete Tong. He's in the show though, you know. He's so. <laughs> He came and saw your, saw your performance on your night. Yeah, he was, he was spying on my team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the support. I love the support. That's amazing. No, they were great. They were great. They came out, showed their support. Um, Dong came. We uh -huh. love them both. Jeff Satora played Kim and Kid and Porsche, and Pete Tong yeah. played Tang Koon and Kid and Porsche. Um, yeah. And then you were like showered with all these gifts, which is. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh my God. I mean, we, as an international fan, the money bouquet thing, I've never seen before. Uh, I've never seen yeah. anything like it. And it was just the first one I've ever seen. <laughs> And bouquets of flowers, I mean, that must have felt pretty more. incredible. <laughs> <laughs> well, now they have your address where they can send gifts. So wait till your birthday. I'm sure you're going to get so much. Stuff.